हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर्स वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ओपा लेट्स एगेन नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर्स इज दैट टाइप ऑफ एम्पलीफायर्स इन हुईज if we provide uh, a signal to that of input of a non inverting amplifiers then at output we have the amplified signal but that uh, signal is uh, same phase to that of input that kind of uh, amplifiers through which that uh, process uh, continued is called non inverting amplifiers now that uh, non inverting amplifiers can be made by using an op amp in that particular video we discuss how a non inverting amplifiers created by using an op amp we know op amp has two terminals one is inverting terminal and another one is non inverting terminal this one is non inverting terminal that one is inverting terminal there the potential v1 potential v2 output vo as our requirement is to take a non inverting amplifier by using that op amp so we provide signal to that of non inverting terminal end through the signal provided to that of non inverting terminal end that one is grounded is the inverting terminal grounded resistance ri we use negative feedback negative feedback feedback resistance rf that node g as the signal is provided to that of non inverting terminal of that op amp then through that resistance there will be the flow of current if and that current here now divided to this end and that end let the current through that portion as ib and current to that end let ri sorry i i by using kirchhoff's current law at that node z using kirchhoff's current law at uh, the node g so that amount of current if is now divided into ib and ii ib plus ii at a node the input current is equal to that output current but for uh, an ideal op amp it has 
infinity input impedance for uh, this reason that the uh, current will be zero there will be no current throughout that of uh, pump for an ideal op pump ib is equal to 0 so if is equal to i i now we use ohm's law here therefore for if that is potential difference to that of resistance here the resistance rf first we write rf is equal to for ii potential difference to that of resistance resistance ri for if current if current the potential difference that current flow from v0 v0 to that of v2 the potential difference v0 minus v2 next for i i current that potential from v2 to ground it will be 0 so v2 to 0 so the expression is written as v0 minus v2 divided by rf is equal to v2 divided by ri here you use a concept of virtual ground as well as virtual shot in that of virtual ground concept if uh, one terminal of uh, an op pump is uh, grounded then uh, the potential at another terminal is uh, ultimately grounded from the concept of virtual ground potential at that end v1 is same as v2 the potential at v1 is vs which is equal to vs virtual ground and virtual shot in place of uh, v2 we write vs is equal to v0 minus vs divided by rf is equal to vs divided by ri we have to calculate the output voltage vo oh, vo divided by rf minus vs divided by rf plus vs divided by is equal to vs divided by ri or vo divided by rf is equal to vs divided by ri plus vs divided by rf or vo is equal to here vs as common 1 by ri plus 1 by rf whole into rf or vo is equal to vs taking lcm ri rf rf plus ri into rf 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 cancelled out vo is equal to vs here is rf plus ri divided by ri now vo is equal to vs here rf by ri plus ri by ri or 
वी ओ इज इक्वल टू वी एस दैट इज आर एफ बाय आर आई प्लस वन सो आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस आर एफ बाय आर आई इनटू वी एस दैट इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर आउटपुट वोल्टेज This is the expression. Expression for output voltage in case of non-inverting amplifiers. Again, output voltage to that of signal voltage V S is equal to one plus आर एफ डिवाइडेड बाय आर आई आउटपुट वोल्टेज टू दैट ऑफ सिग्नल वोल्टेज व्हिच इज नोन एज ओपन लूप वोल्टेज स्केन ए डी एस वन प्लस आर एफ डिवाइडेड बाय आर आई आर द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर ओपन लूप वोल्टेज स्केन This is the expression for open loop. Sorry, that is closed loop. Closed loop voltage gain. So, with the help of this video lecture, we create. a non inverting amplifier by using an op amp means if we provide a signal that signal just like this then at output we obtain the amplified signal which is same phase to that of input so a non inverting amplifier is created by using an op amp this is the mathematical calculation for output voltage and closed loop voltage gain so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you